Everything you need for Swish fits inside this nifty little go bag. Sticking with the basketball theme, they give you a drawstring bag like you would hold your gym shoes in. Inside the bag, we have 60 transparent plastic Swish cards and the instruction booklet. Each card has one ball and one hoop on it. You will use these to orient the card and to stack them into Swishes. Since the cards are made of plastic, they are water resistant and easy to clean. During the game, players are trying to form Swishes. Swishes are formed by stacking cards in such a way that the ball fits inside the hoop. The ball and the hoop must be the same color. Here are some examples of two to five card swishes. The instructions say that 12 card swishes are possible, but it's very unlikely that you're going to be able to do that during the game. To begin, the dealer shuffles the cards and deals them out in four rows of four, creating a tableau of 16 cards. When the dealer is finished, they say, go. As soon as the dealer says go, players begin looking for swishes. While playing, players are not allowed to touch the cards. They must flip and turn them in their mind in order to form the swishes. When they think they have formed the swish, they can yell, swish. The game pauses and the player validates their claim by forming the swish. If it is a valid swish, they keep the cards and the dealer replaces them with new cards from the draw pile. If the swish is no good, the cards are put back on the table and that player is penalized. They must turn in one of the cards they've collected. That card gets shuffled back into the draw pile. If that player has not collected any cards, then nothing happens and the next player goes. Play continues until all of the cards from the draw pile have been laid out on the table and there are no more Swishes left to claim. Now for the review. Personally, I think Swish is a great game. It can be played by up to four players and you even play it by yourself as a solitaire game. So if you're looking for a different way to pass the time, Swish could be it. I like how the instructions offer different ways to play based on ability level. For players who are younger or just beginning with the game, it recommends sticking to swishes that are only two cards. And then of course, an intermediate level would be swishes that are only three or four, and then an expert level where only swishes of five cards are allowed. I think that that's a really intelligent way to approach the game, even for older players. Um, beginning with only two or three card swishes really gives you a feel for how the game works and how the cards can work together. From a parent perspective and a teacher perspective, I think that this game is an excellent way to challenge your children. The fact that they're not allowed to touch the cards or manipulate them, they have to do all of that in their mind, that really makes them work mentally. There's a lot of research out there about uh, brain elasticity and how your intellectual ability is not predetermined. Your brain is a muscle that can get stronger and Swish is a great way to do that. I like how the game penalizes you for failing so that way players aren't haphazardly calling swishes even though they know they don't have one but they're just trying to buy time in order to find one. There will need to be someone moderating the gameplay. The fact that it's a racing game and all players are playing at the same time, I could see some arguments happening about who said swish first. So one way that I changed the rules when I was playing with my students is I made them take turns. Each player got a timed turn and they had that amount of time to find the best swish possible. Overall, I totally recommend getting swish for players anywhere from children to adults. This could be a fun icebreaker game for a longer game night or just a great way to challenge your child over summer break. For those of you interested in purchasing it, there is a buy link in the description that will lead you to Amazon. Buying it through that link does support the channel. Well, that's it for now. Stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching.